This is a baby barred owl with juvenile cataracts and what that means is that when you look at his eyes, though it's kind of hard to see right now, but his eyes are kind of grayish or opaque. And so for him, he can notice uh, differences with shapes going around and able to see differences in shading and shadows and light, but he is never going to be able to see well enough to be able to hunt on his own. And so with this guy, we're going to try to raise him up and see how he does with eating on his own and getting around in his cage. And he may end up becoming a permanent resident here at Blanford, where he may transfer him to another facility that can use an educational barred owl like him. And with normally with a baby bird, we would greatly limit our contact around them. We would try to place them with another young barred owl around the same age, or we'd also have them interact with our adult barred owls that we have here at Blanford, so that way they imprint onto a barred owl and not onto a person. But since this guy we know will never be released, we can actually interact with him quite a bit and take good videos of him because he will not be released out into the wild and we actually want him to become used to people if he's going to become an educational bird. So with this guy, what we feed him are dead mice. So what we can do is, and he's going to swallow it down whole, tail and all. You got to swallow down the rest of it. Because when they eat, if they can swallow it down whole, that's what they will do. Or they'll tear it apart in chunks. And this little guy, he is the baby version of this guy, our adult barred owl. And he's in his side cage getting ready to eat compared to the bigger cage that he's in with our female, so we don't want them to end up eating each other's food.